In all, Will had 14 surgeries to fix the broken bone and perform skin grafts. A total of 24 days at UMC. Look how tiny you are in that chair. Very vividly. Dr. Diab says he has enough muscle in the leg to be functional again. But Will and his family knew that this recovery meant that there would be no baseball, at least for a while. He's still the same kid. Um, he may not be able to run the bases or swing the bat right now, but that day's coming. It's a little bit of shock and I can't believe that was me. I mean, that video is what, about five years old and just looking back and seeing where I was and not even just seeing physically where I was, but mentally, like I hear all these people tell me, yeah, you'll be 100% again. And in the back of my mind, I never truly believed it, but now seeing how far I've come, I'm, I'm convinced that's where everything happened for a reason. I never thought I'd even get to this point, to be honest. There was always some degree of pain. I always thought there was gonna be some things or some things I couldn't do, or, but there's nothing I want to at least give a try. I can run now, I'm playing baseball now, pitching, starting that back up for first time in six years, probably since I was on the baseball diamond, but I'm ready to go. Couldn't be more excited. I guess what I want to be for someone is someone that people can refer to and see he was in the pits, like he thought he wasn't gonna be able to be 100% again and here I am living life just like anyone else would and exceeding where I can. And none of that could have happened without UMC and CMN. I mean, every resource they provided couldn't have come at a better time. The fact we ended up at that hospital was by the grace of God himself and there's no other way to put that. Had I had ended up somewhere else, there's very little chance I would've kept this leg and this would be a whole entire different conversation. It's right where I needed to be and they had every resource I needed. And you know, I'm exceeding in parts of life that I never thought I would again. Donating to CMN is a lot different than donating to all these other big charities. You can actually see that impact here in Lubbock with all the donations staying here locally. It's gonna benefit someone you know more than likely and you hope it's never you. You pray and hope that it is never you, but one day it is, you'll be thankful for everyone else that has donated. And I know I sure am. On behalf of UMC Children's Miracle Network, the Bunko Brunch, and the UMC staff, thank you so much for coming out today to enjoy some Bunko fellowship, especially donating to a wonderful cause. For those of you that don't know, UMC Children's Miracle Network has benefited my son Charles Seipert for 10 out of 11 surgeries. All money raised today stays here locally, so thank you all so much for all of your donations. If you have any questions on how to get more involved or any other donations you'd like to make, please reach out to myself or any of the staff. Thank you so much for all that you've done for the Children's Miracle Network.